guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back. I am doing today a plan with me as far as my monthly overview goes. Um, so join right along. Really, I kind of start this like a month or two ahead of time. Um, and you can see on my empty dates that don't pertain to that month, I try to use a washi and just a sticker to kind of block that off. So I kind of already did that. Um, well, this is actually a week here. So I didn't really do that here just because I put my washi here. But let's see, I usually, I usually use the monthly sticker books for that portion of it all. Um, but since I've already used my washi for the most part, I'll use this one for here. Um, and I just block it off just so I know that it's doesn't really, it's not really part of the month there. So there's that. Um, let's see here. Okay, we'll just use this. A little hack use a card to cut your tape if you don't have scissors or if you don't want to pre measure because that's always my problem is pre measuring. So, okay, there's that, and then I'll usually just do a little sticker, nothing crazy, just something here, blah blah, just like that. I'm not gonna put anything here. I've already put something there, so we'll just leave that be. I don't typically use my side slots for anything at all. So um, if you saw my video, I can link it below, but it was a move in um, as far as this new 2021, uh, 2020 to 21, can't speak, 2020 to 2021 planner. Um, I showed you guys that I was purchasing these little um, cal mini calendars from the Erin Condren website. And they had the holidays already pre-printed, so I just kind of covered that up and coordinated with the colors. And then they had some blank ones left, so I put my birthdays um, for the people that I know in these little slots, so you can see that right there. Um, and then that's it, Christmas break is here, so we've got that. Let me get started with the rest so we can zoom through all of this. Chrissy and Design Stickers is who I use for this monthly overview. I like her stickers. Um, the only issue is, is that they are not um, like removable. They will tear your paper once they've kind of already been on there for a few minutes. Um, so, and they are also, I don't know if you can tell by looking at this, but they're not like a mat. It's more of a, I don't know, like a plastic vinyl sticker paper, I guess is the better word. So you also cannot write with just regular pen on there. You have to write with a permanent like pen and I use a just a sharpie to write on it with so this is what works best for these um, and there's their sticker code for the code that I use for these okay all right now let's get started for real <laughs> okay with these you have to write a little bit slower one because the sharpie is a slick right but it's also a slippery write because of the vinyl. So it's your pen will slide a little bit faster on this. So if you want to write neat or somewhat neat in my case, um, you will need to write a little bit slower when you're writing on these stickers. So here we go. these all written in I kind of give it a minute and let it dry because I don't want it to um, smear when I grab it so there's that One thing I want to share with you guys that I did not utilize in this planner and, and I don't really intend to just because I haven't figured out a way to use it that works for me. Um, if I change my mind, I will let you guys know, but I do not use my dashboard. Um, I actually just glue it together. I use this and I've shared this in my Instagram um, also, but um, I use this repositionable um, tape here that 
you know, it's, you can easily lift it up or whatever. I just like literally glue it like this, use the tape and then I like put them together. And so you can see here that it is already put together because I don't plan on using it for this month. So that's what I do with that. So if you were looking for a dashboard, you're not going to find it here. Um, if I do change my mind and decide to use it, I will share how I'm using that with you guys. That's it, you guys. This is December for me. I typically keep my overview very simple. Appointments, birthdays, and any type of breaks. Anything else that's busy stuff goes inside of my weekly um, planner part. The weekly hourly scheduling that I have. Um, so that's it. If you like this video, hit like. Please subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of any new videos that I release. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.